Welcome back triathletes and for that matter any athlete because in this video we're looking at some performance eyewear. Performance eyewear from a company called Naked Runner and their latest offering their Sol Invictus. Now just over a year ago we at Real Life Reviews were really impressed with some of the the marketing that came out of Naked Runner and we purchased a couple of pairs of their glasses to do a quick review and we were really really impressed so you can imagine that we're pretty excited to get our hands on the latest version that's come out of this company let's start at the very very beginning though because we're not going to buy some performance eyewear sports sunglasses to you and i we're not going to buy some sports performance eyewear if it doesn't look good so my apologies for the human being that's behind the glasses but it's always going to be subjective. I like the look you know, of these sunglasses on me. I'm not saying I like me. I like the look of the sunglasses. So tick in the box number one is they're actually pretty stylish. And I like the shape of the lens and I'll come back to it. But I particularly like the feel of the sunglasses on my face. Before I go into a bit more depth about the variety of options that you can order these sunglasses in let me tell you a little bit about what we at real life reviews have done with these sunglasses over the last few weeks it's pretty miserable in the uk at the moment and when they arrived yeah it was very miserable however zwift had just released outdo zwift so what better option in terms of comfort in extreme than to get on the turbo trainer do a bit of a ride get to outdo zwift and knock up and down out duets but indoors so i'm not going to talk about fog in here because no sunglass in the world is going to survive the best part of two and a half hours indoors heavy hard work and not fog up a bit what we were interested in here was how comfortable would they be with the head down a lot tri bars on the bike on the turbo indoors so in a position that's going to put the glasses in a bit of strain to maintain the right position on the face it was the first major major plus incredible I was expecting after 20 or 30 minutes to be just taking the sunglasses off chucking them to one side and getting on with out the Zwift I'd not done it before it was the first one um, the sunglasses stayed there the whole time probably the greatest feature for me and some of you will find, and I'll, in, I'll show you a couple of other features or mention a couple of other features later. But for me, the greatest feature of these sunglasses was their ability to be comfortable just purely from the fit. The next big element of the test was getting out in this miserable weather, drizzle, rain, wet roads, and really testing the fogging and the ability of the glasses to stay where I wanted them whilst I was on the bike, in the wind, and in this, uh, this simply horrible weather we're having at the moment in the UK. Again, massive tick in the box. Stop start at traffic lights, lots of roadworks going on at the moment. Road junctions, it's wet, it's miserable, there's drizzling rain. The rain on the lenses dripped off, moved really well. Um, I'd like to think a lot of that was the pace I was going at and therefore the wind coming in and just sweeping up. But actually, no. Um, really good water dispersion, but more importantly, the fogging up. Or not, as the case would be. Stopping at a junction, stopping at lights. <sighs> I won't say absolutely fine, because no sunglass in those conditions, if you're stuck at a red light for 30 seconds, isn't going to do have a little bit of fogging but the minute you get going the fogging goes and if it's just a short stop no fogging whatsoever so as i say big tick in the box for fogging and water dispersion now you may well ask why are naked runner producing a new set of sunglasses the sol invictus when they're still producing and have a really really good set of sunglasses the carbon c6s well one of the main reasons comes down to the ability to produce prescription lenses and be flexible with how you use them. The C6, like virtually every other set of sunglasses for sport, has 
a single lens for the sunglass. The Sol Invictus has two independent lenses which are really easy to change and I'll show you that in a moment. What this means is you can have your right eye prescription and your left eye prescription made up independently and you can change them. It also means that you have a huge variety of options within the lenses. What we've got here is what you might describe as the base level. This is black frame, grey lenses and comes in I believe at £65 uh, from the Naked Runner website and there's a link down below and I've been seriously impressed with them. However, you can order these with varying mirrored lenses and also polarised as well as of course prescription. Now why? Well this isn't just about cycling and running. This is about all sports and different colours give you different enhancements, be it for, for depth or for distance. And you will see that cyclists very often will wear a red tinged lens if you watch the tour, watch the big, big stuff on TV. And it is all about the different perceptions that you get. Cricketers want a different enhancement. Do these enhance? Yeah, they do actually. What I found is that they enhance the blue, which in a miserable UK at the moment, when you just get that slightest gap in the cloud, does make it look like you've got some nice weather. So massive, massive flexibility in what you order. And they go from, as I say, £65, heading up towards £85 um, for different colours, different mirrors. So you can get mirrored colours and you can also get polarised. What I can see as a real possibility with these sunglasses is ordering a number of sets of lenses and especially if you need prescription as well. Let me show you how ridiculously simple it is to change the lenses on these sunglasses. Now I'm going to try to do this in a single take at a funny angle but so that you can see on camera. So I'm going to take my finger and thumb and put them onto the nose bridge. I'm then going to take the lens and the frame and I'm just very gently going to open up the frame and there is the lens out. So one lens off, next lens to come in and this is where I might muck up but let's try and do it at a funny angle. I'm simply going to seat the lens in, push it along and there I have it roughly in position with and I hope you can see a little gap up here between the frame and the lens. So I'm doing a reverse order. I'm then going to put finger on top of the lens, thumb around about the nose bridge, just off the nose bridge and squeeze. And it's on, just like that in one go. Dead simple. Some of you will be asking about weight. Well, there are the real life review scales. Here are the sunglasses, pop them on the scales, 28 grams. That's pretty lightweight. It's not the 18 or 19 grams that the very, very minimalist sunglasses are, but 28, what's the difference? 10, nine grams, it's not much at all. And as I mentioned earlier, one of the great features for me is the way that the nose piece on these sunglasses just seems to be a great shape. Now, I guess you could argue that maybe that's me, but when I wear these sunglasses, they're nice, they're firm, without pressing too hard that I, they, they cause any irritation. They're firm on the grip, and the nose piece seems to be, it's just the perfect shape, and it holds its position. So whatever I'm doing, and I mentioned earlier, I spent the best part of two and a half hours pretty much in the TT position, doing Alp du Swift, giving these a serious workout, and I was very, very impressed with them. It's also worth pointing out that I have been running in these sunglasses, and those of you that have watched a number of my videos before will know that habitually I don't like running in sunglasses. I've not been brought up in a hot, bright climate. UK, sorry. Again, I am really, really impressed with the ability of the nose clip area and the grip. I very quickly lose the sensation that I'm wearing the glasses. I'm focused on what I'm doing in my run. So another big tick in the box for Naked Runner, a, a, a runner who doesn't run in sunglasses, wears the sunglasses to run in, 
and has no problems whatsoever. To me, that's a big, big plus. It's also worth mentioning that Naked Runner as a company are being quite forward thinking in how they're marketing and selling these sunglasses. When you buy these sunglasses, you buy into the company. They're running a token system that's essentially a share system. And when you interact with the company and you purchase, you get tokens. Ultimately, you can get dividends from the company. They're tradable tokens. They're a real bonus. And what you're doing from the company's point of view is hopefully you're going to become an ambassador for the company because you're going to wear the sunglasses. You're going to really enjoy the fact that you're part of the company, they hope, and the company will grow. If the company grows, then the value of your tokens or shares grows likewise. So if you'd like to buy a pair of these sunglasses or investigate a little further into the different colours of lenses and the options that you can have, then there is a link to Naked Runner in the description down below please do give them a visit and have a look on their website. And I think you'll be really impressed with the history and the story behind the company. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you want to visit our website, then there's a link just down there. If you haven't yet subscribed, then click on the round picture just down there. And if you want to see the previous video with the Carbon C6s, then there's a link just up there. Many thanks again for watching.